Great Wednesday morning, January 29th. Thank the Lord for yet another beautiful day. You know what? I woke up 3.30. The Lord did that and went over some material, doing some work. And then I was researching the song and I felt like this. And that's why I'm really praying for those who have lost the carrier, that person, the comfort who birthed you, who was the vessel, your mother. And the song I was going over was, sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Yeah, we know Mahalia Jackson sang that, but a lot of us could sing that tune and have it perfected because of some of the pain and the longing for our birth mother. Yeah, and maybe it's the adopted mother, maybe it's your godmother, but no one no one knows the feeling or the pain when you lose someone like that now i'm going to say that too for fathers because i had a chance to speak to some strong men last night about their baby kids and i love the way they took control and took charge and they said oh you're not going to have this problem again i said oh if only every child had this force in their life but what if you're at that point where you're like you don't even have either one you're just an orphan no mother no father um, no loved one and you are surrounded by enemies what have you we're in Psalms 80 and the prayer that we have today is in the last verse turn us again O God of hosts, armies, our defender, because you might not have a parent to advocate for you or to say everything's going to be okay or step in. Cause thy face to shine and we shall be saved. Yes, the Lord of hosts, our leader of our armies, our captain, he is our ultimate parent and he will defend us and he will cause our face to shine because his face is shining on us. He's giving us the gladness of his countenance and we thank the Lord. And the promise today in Psalms 29, 11, because today is January 29th, the Lord promises that he will bless his people with peace. Yes, he will. He will give strength to his people. We are his people. We are his children. We are his family. And he promises to give us that supply today. And because of that, in Psalms 59, 16, we will sing of his power, the strength that he gives us. I will sing aloud of the mercy in the morning. Even though it's a little after maybe six o'clock in the morning, we still sing for thou has been our defense in the day of trouble. So like I said, we might be alone, but the Lord has shined upon us. And because of that, Psalms 149, 4, yeah, we might be putting our makeup on. But the Lord promises to beautify the meek with his salvation. Why? Because he taketh pleasure in his people. And also we would have gone over Psalms 119. Yes, all of the verses. And what spoke to me is you might have some enemies today, but know that the Lord will make you unoffendable. He will make you strong. In Psalms 119, 165, it says, Great peace, again, the Lord gives that to us, have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Right? So come what may, sticks and stones, break my bones. Yeah, they hurt. But the Lord will make it so that he'll insulate our heart, insulate our mind, our soul, so that we'll be able to be strengthened in the power of his might and do great things today. Amen. And I'll go on to do his will. So many are the persecutors, enemies, in verse 157, but the Lord is in charge of everything and he'll insulate his people. Have a wonderful day doing his will, no matter what comes and lift up your face because the Lord is shining on you. Good day.